Well, let's stay with the reading for the collective. Take a resonance for help the rest. I hope this message finds everyone well. Don't get taken by scammers in the comments section soliciting you for readings. Okay, that's not me. Four of Cups reverse, some sort of a new approach to a problem. Maybe opening up to love again. Someone feels like they failed to lead, or there could be someone who's very dictatorial, a masculine energy. Something to do with marriage and taking a risk, feeling very uh, foolish. Uh, this person has been thinking a lot, taking a break, spending time alone. They could have been ill, taking time to reflect um, on their situation. Uh, intentions are devil, so it could be that they feel like they've got to deal with the devil or they're obsessed about something. He said that was in reverse and in the near future has to do with losing something, losing something tangible, um, something not coming in. This person is thinking about making a bold, fast move. Some sort of like truth and clarity in regard to a network of people or or there are people discussing something, there's clarity within a group who are building something together. This person wants to become unstuck or they're afraid of getting stuck or they're realizing that they put themselves into some sort of self-imposed prison. Outcome is some sort of injustice because uh, that's justice reversed. High priestess under the deck. So this has to do with some very um, intuitive feminine energy, uh, yin, yin energy. Okay, so, um, wow. So, I mean, this could be a deepening of feeling rejected because it's a reversal or it can be them getting over the feeling of apathy. Um, let's see. Cups reversed. Ooh, ten of swords. So this really does have to feel, feel with hitting rock bottom, rejection from, from an ending, a painful ending or a painful betrayal. Um, this has to do with an emperor, a king of wands in the reverse. So someone that this person is, they either think of themselves as very ruthless um, or unable to um, lead no vision, uh, cruel, cruel, opinionated, dictatorial. So it could either be that this person is like a karmic energy that is feeling heartbroken uh, because of this, this masculine energy, or it's masculine thinking of themselves this way. So let's keep going. Some sort of a risk having to do with Hierophant. Um, Empress. Hmm. This could have to do with pregnancy, or it could be they made a foolish mistake. They took a risk in regards to a feminine energy who's very upstanding. Or this person could feel like they're, they're they can't fill certain shoes, or they something. I'm not sure yet. I need to clarify some more on that one. Four of Swords in the recent past. Hierophant reverse. So we've got Hierophant here and here. Religion. Um, you know, some sort of institution, um, marriage, uh, some organization, but turned upside down or reversed, I mean, uh, foolish exercise, vulnerable or something, something within the group, something unorthodox, having to take a break maybe, or this could be, yeah, taking a break from the church or someone taking a break in a, in a very unorthodox way within some sort of an organization. Could be that. This intention with devil, obsessed, someone's obsessed with who loves who or some sort of romantic gesture. 
Ace of Pentacles in the near future. Some, someone's strength is someone's loss. Someone's will. Someone's um, control of their, their inner uh, passion. Someone's confidence and resilience is someone's loss. Knight of Swords. Someone's feeling very, very much rejected and uh, they want to do something hasty here. They, they might be acting out. This person's very critical, cruel, overbearing, bitter, deceitful. Queen of Swords in reverse. In this person's environment, there's some sort of clarity about building something. Something about getting unstuck. Freedom to choose. Self-created boundaries. So um, there could be some people who are around this that don't want to be around it. This person doesn't want um, someone to walk away. They, they, it's like they want something about being trapped or walking away here. Um, it's kind of like mixed signals, that energy. Page of Cups reverse, clarifying injustice, emotions all over the place. Uh, very sort of maybe like flattery or deviation from, from the path. To be very juvenile emotional energy this has to do with someone walking away six of swords that's sitting next to high priestess so maybe a high priestess is walking away um, going to calmer waters or someone is intuiting that someone is so okay so big betrayal um four of cups reversed and um Someone feels like they failed or they're feeling very hopeless. They feel rejected. They lost the gift. There's a gift here they they want. They feel like they, they, they're defeated in regards to a gift. Um, this mature man is the problem. So I feel like this is a karmic energy because we've got... Mature man, emperor, and king of wands all describing the same subject. I feel like this is a masculine energy that either someone's upset with themselves or this is a karmic energy that feels like they've got they they they're defeated. They failed they failed to to hold on to the gift. Um which could be this masculine energy, like but that that's almost like it's insinuating this person's like a property or a thing or a, a milestone instead of a person um, so that's weird just the way it comes across um, they had some sort of expectation so this person's feeling foolish in regard but it's in their subconscious in regards to this empress um, I feel like that has to do with like copycat energy, them feeling like they feel like they're you or thought they were going to be you or some thought that someone could fill your shoes or something like that or be you instead of being themselves um, and following their own path and finding their own gifts. They like, or like mirroring someone else's life or projecting or doing something weird, which is why they might be feeling um, foolish they had some sort of expectation. Coffin is clarifying Hierophant in reverse and Four of Swords. So this definitely feels like some sort of a separation, but perhaps like a divorce. This person is very obsessed with um, some sort of romantic offer or gesture. It's making them feel um, out in the cold. So distant horizons, this has to do with someone's, I don't know, I almost want to say like energy. It could be an email, something on, online that happens, but someone's strength is someone's loss. They, they physically lose something. Uh, they do want to take some action or they are taking action right now. They're, there's something hasty going on. They could be heading towards someone who wants to be left alone um, and being very bitter and cruel and deceitful. Um, towards this person, imprisonment. Wow. This is definitely, have, this feels out of control. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords reverse, and imprisonment and hermit reverse. 
it feels like someone's like lashing out or about to explode or do something here to like upset someone else's peace or try to um, like cross someone's boundaries or this could be very fast talking, very critical. Something about imprisonment though, it's like someone feels trapped or trying to trap someone or they feel trapped so they're trying to lash out or this could be with this knight of swords sometimes this feels like this can be you know it's a, it's a man on a horse with a sword that's the in the uh, rider weight it's someone who's charging it could be a police officer taking someone you know it could be a, an official some official person taking someone to be alone they could be looking at that could be what they're they're seeing um, in some cases, so take what resonates. Either way, someone's lashing out, and this is very sharp. It's very cold, emotional lashing out, though. It's very... Someone of even being very overbearing. But there's someone here who wants to get out of that trap. So it's like there's some sort of discussion or clarity about it. Distant horizons, that could be some kind of text message someone's sending or something like that. Yeah, so Ace of Swords, this caper is being cleared by, by thoughts, which makes sense. Someone's thinking about, people are thinking, thinking through building something. They want to become unstuck in this person's environment. Change in reverse. With Eight of Swords Reverse, Eight of Cups Reverse, those are both walking away cards or movement forward. Both are eights. It's mastering emotions, mastering the mind. This person, change in reverse, doesn't want these things to change. They don't want to change and they don't want anything else to change. Um, Page of Cups Reverse with Injustice it has to do with some sort of an... Um, Another masculine energy. Can I get one more? Something to do with a house. Some sort of an injustice, a house, and another masculine energy. Someone being very emotional, maybe juvenile, selfish. High honor is under the deck with this high priestess. So it feels like someone, this is about like moving on a high priestess energy. Someone that's very intuitive with um, arcane knowledge, keeps stuff to themselves, um, keeps knowledge and wisdom to themselves who is moving towards a calmer water, who has high honor. So, so yeah, it just feels like this person felt like there was some kind of a gift that they had inserted themselves into that was connected to this masculine energy. Um, it seems like something's over. It seems like they're lashing out though. It seems like they consider um, this something about this masculine. They're very like, you know, the way that these cards are placed, the judgment from this perspective is this person is like a failure, this person is um, cruel, ruthless, this person's too opinionated, this person's weak, it just it, whatever, like negative version of these, this masculine energy and this person's viewpoint, that's the challenge. They could be a loss of this person, but really it's more about this gift. It's like what they can have or what they can get out of something. So um, what's interesting is that like there's this ten of swords, but there's no three of swords. So it's, it's like this person's a possession and there's no, the heartache has nothing to do with, there's no heartache here. This is more of like pain from defeat losing a gift. It's all about things or appearances or having something and something being over. It's just more about deceit and obsession over who who's attracted to who or who gets an offer. And then lashing out and being critical. And not wanting someone to move on, but it, it feels like it's because with this gift here, it just feels like what I'm trying to say is not the reason if this this the, if I can see a higher event reverse if this was is over 
if that's what this is, or a break or coffin, because that's what Hierophant reverse coffin for sorts. You know, that's what that means. Some sort of break or ending. And then another ending here, this person feeling really I'm not saying I'm not saying they're not feeling pain. It's just that the reason they're feeling pain has to do with this gift here. It's just a little disturbing because it feels like it's not that they're, it's more about feeling rejected, which everybody can feel rejected when there's a breakup, but it's not that, it's that, it's that there's a gift here. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. That's what makes it feel off kilter. Yeah, when they're past, gift they feel defeat or ruin yeah this is that's what i'm saying it feels like hustling is it's not about love it's about like what they can get or have or if this was someone else's like blessing i feel like you know what it is it's like not being able to see the value in someone until someone else has it and thinking well i want that if i can have that then i've I've made it or that, you know, that maybe this person feels like you're this Empress energy and this was your person. And so they felt competitive about it and they felt instead of finding within them, the making themselves complete instead uh, and finding who, who they are aligned with, who is their best alignment. They went into competition with another feminine energy because it it gave this person value which people talk about that all the time like single single masculine energies will say uh, or single single people will say that they get more attention when they're with someone a lot of time than when they're not and it's because they just come across as more valuable but this person like really took it to the to the nth degree so, wow, yeah, um, let's just do this, poverty devil, they're like really concerned with, I don't know about this caught a case, I don't know what that is, cop walking, so they're really obsessed with where this masculine is going to go. Or well, they're obsessed with where someone's going and they want to stop it. And, and they either feel left out in the cold or they want to take all of someone's money or they're going to make some sort of accusations about STDs. It looks like, or they're going to do something, um, or they might have something and they feel like they can't move on or can I get one more piece for that? Whatever it is, it's not very smart. <laughs> That's what the cards are saying. Okay, we'll just leave it there. Um, so what are they doing here with this Knight of Swords? Curious about you waiting. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. This has to do with, ugh. This is like watching someone and waiting till the right time to make some kind of like, some kind of a move and doing it with like a really negative state of mind. Yeah, I, told, I said I don't feel good about this. This combination here, then also with like imprisonment I mean I don't know what they're trying to do here but like then also it's like looks premeditated like this person's about to do something I don't know what that is but it's not good okay so this person is about to make a move they're thinking through doing something fast though because time is of the essence but they're waiting so this all is like a strategy. 
um, this has to do with someone who wants to be left alone or something about someone is, who's in isolation. So they could be coming towards someone who's in isolation that they're very critical of um, and trapping them. And with this curious about you, I mean, this doesn't look online. This looks like somebody's traveling physically. This feels like someone's traveling to someone's home. That's what it looks like. I mean, they might be so obsessed because they're obsessed with where someone's going or something like that. So they're waiting. Maybe they're waiting to see something. If like someone's car drives by or something like that and to try to like catch someone. But I don't know if that's it. I don't know what that... I really don't know. Why is imprisonment there? Crying over you reverse. It's like they want to trap someone. Somehow it's something about trapping someone emotionally or physically. But there could be police involved here. And this is bad. This is bad. This is like making some action that with the devil and knight of swords, this person is like not in a good state of mind at all and could do something like reactive. Someone wants to come unstuck though in the environment. Someone's, it's, it's a masculine energy who's thinking about love. Um, See, but it seems like they might be with people or if they're thinking something through about building something or becoming unstuck. Um, I feel like they could be alone and that's why this person wants to interrupt them because it seems like maybe they are getting the clarity they need. Um, could be, or there could be someone else here helping them. Or they can be working and thinking about love, but trying to think about how to get unstuck. Um, they don't want someone looking you up, this karmic energy. Um, something about not being able to talk shit about you anymore and you being ghosted. They don't want that to change. They want to keep talking about you. Um, they want you to be ghosted. Um, and the outcome, this injustice, Something to do with fake accounts, another masculine, some other masculine energy, a house, some kind of like emotions all over the place. What are they doing here? Something about marrying for money. Something that maybe can be seen. Some sort of screenshots. Uh, into you. I don't know if they're trying to like set someone up or share some private information about a masculine energy. If this, take what resonates, if this is a masculine that like, you know, if this was like an open marriage or if this masculine had some sort of an affair with the same sex, this could be something that comes out about it. Or someone could be tracking someone on fake, on social media creating some sort of injustice, having to do with marriage, marrying for money, some sort of evidence, getting evidence or sharing evidence about someone being really into someone. It has to do with something that happened in a house with another male. That's what I was thinking. Or, they, or another male shares it, but it's very immature and emotional when, when they do this. So someone's running here. It could be the high priestess, because um, that's who, what this is next to. Um, I just want to know. I just want to know what that outcome, the injustice is. And we'll call it. We'll call it a reading. Portal. Whatever this injustice is, 
there's something about online, someone's got a fake account or someone's like, mm, try to fool somebody or get like set someone up. It's very immature. It has to do with someone in some, this could be a quarrel between more than one masculine energy. This could be someone trying to confuse someone. This person could um, do something very devious to try to create confusion between two masculine energies to get attention or to cause strife between people where there's like love or romance. I don't know, it just seems like it's like within a small group of people that they that they do this. Uh, it might not even it might not even have anything to do with this masculine. It could be like repeating a cycle here. Or, but it, since it's in this reading, it must. But it's about like creating some kind of a fight and an injustice is created and there's a quarrel between people. It's about, it's about someone being into someone here and marrying for money. There's some something fake going on. Someone's got some sort of evidence about something. And it has to do with the house or it happens in a house or this could be within a small group of people. Maybe that work together or same social circle, something like that. So um, there you go. If you resonate, I hope it helps. And I'll see you on the next read. Bye.